All right, Chandler. Big heavy bike, take one. Oh, you're kidding me. I've about died 20 times. everybody this morning is super windy made it kind of hard to clean up camp and put up the tents but it might be nice for the dust so that's gonna be good we got some fun stuff planned for the day everybody keeps talking about this gold king mansion I've never seen it but I'm excited to check it out we're far enough into the ride we don't even know what day it is but we're just gonna go for it and have a good time my bikes a little bit thirsty but and this van is a mess, but I can't believe we don't have one of our uh, beater bikes in here yet. So I'm pretty impressed by that. But today's gonna be fun. We got some pretty gnarly stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to today. Gold King Mansion, the Jeep trail there is just rocky and gnarly. So we'll see if one of those bikes doesn't make it in this van after that. <laughs> Out of camp. Let's go, Charles. I wanted to be behind Pogo Man for this. Eric's 650L right now, and uh, I am confirming all the rumors. It is a cheater bike. Still a little wallow in the corners, but uh, it moves pretty good. Decent suspension. Oh yeah, I could get used to this. I wonder what Eric's feeling on my bike. <laughs> well, when I first got on it, I couldn't believe the riding position was so cramped. It feels like bullet bike type stuff. I didn't see that coming. And then second thing, I was wishing it had a wind jammer. If I had a wind jammer and a cup holder, I'd be ready. My filter it's so dirty that start over with a clean nose I'm cleaning my uh, dirty air filter because it's so plugged up I can't go very fast on the highway and when it's that plugged up the engine sucking so hard for for air that it's I think it causes it to draw more fuel so my my uh, mileage is horrible oh. Great, dude. that's awesome everyone keeps doing stuff to their bikes what the issue is. 
Chancellor? <laughs> yeah. Wes, is this your first air filter change? Yes. That's why. 750 miles in. Would you say you're on a more capable bike than the last time you came through here? Very about no, absolutely not. I'll take the 790 over this, even on the tight, tight stuff. Charles, this cockpit is pretty small and tight. What's your exit strategy? I actually don't have an exit strategy. It's gonna be pretty hard to get off. So if it goes down, I'm going down with the ship. Ladies and gentlemen, is our no dab challenge all the way to the Gold King Mansion. We all gotta be honest, count your dabs, all right? Lowest dabs wins. All right. Don't hold me up. I'll try not to hold you up. Gabe, do you wanna go in front of me or behind? Uh, I'll stay behind you. All right. Wes just wants to cheat. Dang, I don't know if I want to follow Charles through this. He, I don't know if he's the best at picking lions. <laughs> well, then you can just pass me on the good one. Okay, here we go. Sounds horrible. Hey, does a pass take away a dab? <laughs> no, but it, but it makes it more fun, so go for it. What the crap? This looks gnarly. Oh, oh my gosh. Did anybody dab yet? Nope. It's Charles? Nope. I sure have scraped a lot. <laughs> I've only hit the skid plate once, I think. We're ow! <laughs> okay. Let it be known, I was told to stop. All right, all right. All right, who made it to here without any dabs? I think everyone. Sweet. You guys ready? Oh man. Holy cow! That was amazing! I dabbed. Dang it, after all that. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Is, is anybody under twenty-six? You ready, Wes? I want to be in front. You do? I don't know, actually. Man, I don't know where I'm gonna go. It all looks crappy. What's the line? <laughs> Dude, come on! I'm already high centered. Uh, well, I guess I'm out. There's one dab for me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> oh. I 
got four. That's two. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor! Chancellor got no dabs through there! <laughs> no! No way! Take that! Did the GS show all you up? You missed your calling in life. You should have been a trials rider. The Gold King Mansion is kind of a cool old building. It was built in the early 1920s to get people to come up and invest in the mines. So they would bring wealthy people up here. They would see how fancy this mansion was. They'd wine and dine them and hopefully get them to invest in the mine. Unfortunately, the mine didn't have that much success. I think it was shut down by like 29, 1929. And of course the Great Depression kind of, you know, sealed the deal on it. I'm excited for this next section though because there's going to be some gnarly stuff. The first stuff was gnarly, this is going to be worse. I'm not going clear inside unless I have to. I'm going kind of in the middle. You guys ready? Okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, pull the hammy. Oh. I was so excited I hit my line that I lost focus. Full speed ahead. I got it from here. I meant to do that. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was an abrupt stop.
Why'd you set that rock up? That's so rude. Something's kind of jacked up. Oh, damn. I sheared my I sheared my skid plate bolt. That's not good. Big heavy bike, take one. Bashing. Sprocket rotors are still straight. Yep. Oh, that was awesome. It was awesome. Chuck! Bad line. I'm right on the skid plate. That was interesting. Oh Lord. <laughs> I don't know how you do this. <laughs> Just don't go off the cliff. Easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> this is something else. One, two, three! 
Oh, thanks, Gabe. Now Chancellor's got to show me up, huh? <laughs> Respect the weight. Drop me, come roll your front wheel. Thank you. All the crazy crap we've done today, I haven't tipped my bike over. I'm turning around in the road, just slowly. Lost my balance, couldn't hold the bike up, let it fall, and lost my clutch lever. And I didn't bring any spares. I knew I should have brought hand guards or spare levers, but I didn't. So hopefully Chancellor, he's got a spare lever for his. Hopefully it'll, it'll work. Yeah, I'm gonna trim it off. But then it would work. More. Oh, if, that little... if you let me trim that off. Sure. We might have to do it at the van where we have a hacksaw and stuff. Yeah. Dude, where are you hurting? My wrist hurts. Uh oh. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. I'm guessing it just might be easier for band-aids, guys. Get you going and get us where we're in a warmer climate and then we can redress these. I'm shocked that those guys made it through it. I don't know. I, I told Kobe, Kobe's the only one said, I said, there's some icy spots in here. Let's start with Pinky, going over the top. What else we got? You want one on your knuckle? I just want you to zip up your jacket while you got two hands. And then maybe get your helmet on. All right, so we're having a good time and just making our way down the mountain toward Kingman and some of the north facing slopes were just pretty dang icy. And so I was making my way down to the camera guys and was all of a sudden sliding. So yeah, crashed a little bit and I'm all kind of bandaged up now. So feeling lots better than I was though. Yeah, now we're gonna make our way down into Kingman and find some food because we're all pretty dang hungry and cold. So my broken lever, we just happen to have a bunch of levers in the van. Not one for a KZ, but we have one that's pretty dang close, but it's got this extra knob on it. So I'm just gonna hacksaw that off and I think I'll be, I think I'll be set. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> oh, that was one straight cut. I think that's gonna work well. Gold King Mansion, the whole trails today did not disappoint. We definitely got our rough trails in. A few of us are a little beat up and the rest of us are all really cold. So we're gonna call it a night and get a hotel here in Kingman. Uh, we'll get up early-ish and uh, knock out 200 miles tomorrow and finish this thing up.
<laughs> My bike is saying no, but I'm saying yes. <laughs> 